things. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're enjoying this season as much as I am. I did a little bit of cleaning last week and resetting up my mantle, transitioning it over from winter to Valentine's Day. So I'm going to actually be showing you that video tonight. And also there's a few other Valentine's Day touches around the house that I'm going to share with you. But one of the most fun things that I'm going to do in this video is try out a new recipe. I've never done this before, but a lot of people have been making cookies out of cake mixes. Um, it's been going on for a while, but I just never tried it. I've always made cookies the old-fashioned way. So I found a recipe on Pinterest, which I will link down below in the description box. So make sure that if you want the recipe, you follow the link and it will take you there. But I thought that I would try these strawberry chocolate chip cookies made from a strawberry cake mix. So what I'm going to be doing is making those um, and I'm going to be giving um, one little bag to my daughter and one bag to my other daughter and her husband. And I just thought that it would be fun to give them a little something else too. And when I was at Kroger's getting the cake mix, I found these beautiful reusable grocery bags. I just thought the print was so pretty and I didn't think they needed to be used like for reusable grocery bags. I thought they'd be really cute like as gift bags almost because they're not that sturdy. I don't think a bunch of cans would fit in here, but maybe they would. But anyway, I also found these really cute, cute, cuddly, soft blankets. So what I plan to do is stick a blanket in the shopping bag along with some tissue and a Ziploc bag full of the cookies. So let's give it a try. Stick with me tonight and we'll see how they come out. So I'm doing a little bit of cleaning. I'm going to transition this mantle over from winter to Valentine's Day. I'm taking all of the picks and the greenery off. My husband just hung some command hooks up into the upstairs closet so that I could hang the greenery kind of um, down the wall so they don't get smashed and I can just keep using them year after year. So I really love that. I'm taking everything else off and giving the mantle a really good scrub down with some Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner. I really like the way it takes all the dust and like the scuff marks off this mantle. So it does a really good job. And I'm just using some um, Windex with vinegar to kind of get the mirror all shiny again and put everything back up on the mantle. This is a swag that I got from Hobby Lobby like about 10 years ago. I really reuse my stuff year after year. I don't like buy a lot of stuff new. These two hearts I actually got from Michaels at an after Christmas clearance sale for $4 a piece and I'm not sure why the light up hearts were with the Christmas stuff but they were. So I snatched them up after Christmas and I knew I would put them away for Valentine's Day and I've been using them ever since. So I'm just adding a couple more details. The pitcher with flowers is a piece from my Fiesta Wear collection. I love it. It's just a white Fiesta Wear disc pitcher. There's some candle holders up there and a happy Valentine's Day sign. And I just love the way it came out. It's not a lot. It's not overkill, but it definitely says Valentine's Day. And I think it's a really good, a really good look. working on is a little side table that I have. I'm taking the glass insert out and windexing it really well and then I'm using some wood cleaner to dust it and shine it up, adding the glass back and then I'm going to put the lamp back on it and give that a really good dusting. I'm going to put the picture that was already on the table back on. That's a photo of my dad and then I'm going to be adding some little a little bouquet of roses and a picture that I made with my Cricut with some rose petals and vinyl. Next I'm going to work on my kitchen. I'm going to give my mixer a really good wipe down and then kind of just get it all shiny and get some of the dust off the top and any stray little crumbs that might have flown out of there while I was making cookies. So I'm wiping the counter really good and adding a red charger that I 
made with my Cricut. I made the 14 and put it on there and then lighting some candles. This is a metal round top wreath. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. I'm pretty sure that they're still making them. My sister-in-law gave me this wreath for Christmas about, I think like 10 or 12 years ago. And it was all full of Christmas magnets and a Christmas ribbon. But over the years, I've been collecting magnets for other holidays. They make various magnets through the years and then I think they retire some and then make a few more. So if I can find a link, like I said, I'll link it down below, but I really love this wreath and I customize it like for every season, I change the ribbon and then change out the magnets. It's really fun and I put it by my front door on a wreath stand. All right, let's get started with those cookies. I'm using that one cake mix. It's a strawberry flavored cake mix. I'm adding one third cup of vegetable oil and then two eggs that I've kind of mixed together a little bit. I already had kind of pre-mixed them. And I'm adding a half of a teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of baking powder. So that's what's in there right now. I'm gonna stop mixing for a minute and make sure that I kind of scrape the um, cake mix off the bottom just to make sure that there's no powdery, um, flowery cake mix left on, left on the bottom. I'm gonna give it one quick mix so that it it will incorporate but pretty much everything was mixed in the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add two cups of ghirardelli white chocolate baking chips and it's just going to make the cookies look really pretty to be honest i'm a big fan of dark chocolate and i really think that i could have added the dark chocolate chips and it would still be kind of holiday-ish with the pink and the dark um, chips. And I think I would have probably liked it a little better because I'm a huge fan of dark chocolate. But this was really good and really pretty. It was a pretty cookie. And they, um, even the white chocolate chips are yummy, let's face it. All right, I'm just incorporating the chips in there really good and trying to make sure they're evenly spread throughout the dough. It's a very stiff dough. Um, I was pretty surprised at how stiff it was. Maybe a little bit stiffer than your average chocolate chip cookie, but it wasn't that hard to work with or anything. All right, I have a parchment lined baking sheet and I'm using my Pampered Chef medium scoop. I love to use this scoop for cookies because they're a little bit larger than a normal size cookie, but they all come out uniform and I think it's a really pretty size for cookies. Now, I did have to adjust my baking time up a little bit. The recipe called for 10 minutes, but this is a little bit bigger, like I said, than the average size cookie. So I probably went for 13 to 15 minutes on these cookies. You don't want them to get brown because then they don't look as pretty. So you have to kind of take them out right before they start turning brown. And then they're really perfect. I want to make my husband some chocolate covered strawberries and I found these Baker's dipping chocolate little tubs in the baking section along with this cute Valentine's Day sprinkles. I want to try this product out because I've never tried it before. So I opened up the tub and it just had those chocolate like pellets in there and it said to microwave it for 30 seconds. So I did that but I didn't feel like they were melted at all. And it said keep microwaving them for 30 seconds more and more. So I'm gonna keep doing that. And as you can see, I did it for, that's a minute 30 and I still didn't feel like it was quite the consistency that would be good for dipping. So I put it back in the microwave for 30 more seconds. And finally, I think at about two minutes, I was pretty happy with it. So I have a parchment lined baking. Um, I just lined a cutting board with some parchment paper and I'm dipping the strawberries in there. Um, adding some sprinkles on top. I think they came out super cute and the chocolate was really easy to work with. Um, it was, it, after I got it melted just right, it was a really good consistency. And as you can see, the strawberries are just dipping in there really easily. I um, had some trouble getting the sprinkles like on the sides. They were just kind of coming out on the top. So I had kind of devised this little way of putting the sprinkles down on the paper first and then setting the strawberries on top and kind of giving them a little twist and that way the sprinkles will kind of get on the sides and then I'll add some more to the top 
They started looking so cute. I'm so glad that I tried this product out. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen that um, little tub of Baker's chocolate before and if you've used it for anything else besides strawberries. I'm thinking for Christmas time or other times of the year, pretzels would be really fun too. Afterwards, it took about 30 minutes to set, and then I put them in the fridge on this baking sheet just to kind of harden them. They were really fun to make, and like I said, I was really pleased with this product. I think it worked really well. That's the last strawberry, and it's for me. That's how much chocolate was left in the tub. You could definitely do more strawberries, maybe even, maybe not a whole nother pint, but definitely some more. Okay, let's check on those cookies. They came out really pretty. I um, think that they were really holiday Valentine's -y looking, and I'm just gonna pack them in this little tub for now, this little Valentine's basket. But I thought they came out so pretty, and they were definitely yummy. The strawberries also came out nicely when I took them out of the fridge. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope it inspires you and gets you ready for Valentine's Day this year. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and share this video with someone else that might be enjoying some homemaking content.